everybody, it's Sharon here. Welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome for any new subscribers that may be visiting for the first time. So I have some exciting new digital shares for you today from Junk with Steph. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these. I've actually recorded part of this video previously and I was going to share and then she had some new releases. So I've decided to just do a whole new video and share the whole lot i'm super excited to share with you so i can start creating with them because they are gorgeous sorry i'm just pulling my sleeves up um need to get busy here so the first one i'd like to share with you is called just straightening them up because they've been sitting on my other table so this one is called tattered remnants and i will just check that i'm in camera properly might bring it across just a fraction. Okay, so Junk with Steph Tattered Remnants. And, oh my gosh, they are so, so beautiful. I love the depth of colour in these darker ones. They make me happy. I love having darker papers that I can play with um, to add depth to what I'm doing. Love that. Just so beautiful. I'm excited. Can you tell? I think I have two there. Do I? Yes, I do. Oh, look at that stitching. I hadn't noticed that before. Oh, and again on this one. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, so that is the first kit. And it is again called Tattered Remnants from Junk With Steph. Next, I have Shabby Remnants from Junk With Steph. Just straightening up in my camera. And again, just beautiful, beautiful colours in these. I just adore them. So excited. Oh my gosh. So excited to start creating with these. You have no idea. Colour combinations are just so beautiful. And for anybody who's watched my channel before, I have said that I'm not a huge red fan. Like I don't necessarily, I'm not drawn to the colour red, but this shade of red, this beautiful rich, oh, it just makes my day. It makes me so happy, so... I actually have a tablecloth that's similar to this. It's really, really pretty. In that really beautiful lemon colour. Love that. Oh my goodness, so many beautiful papers. So again, that was Junk with Steph Shabby Remnants. And, and next I have Junk with Steph Frayed Remnants. I love, love, love that paper. Oh my gosh. And honestly, if you look at some of these papers against each other, you can just see how beautifully they'll work together um, with the colour combinations that are on the pages. Just so gorgeous. I think my printer was just speaking to me. This one's upside down. Sorry about that. Oh, 
Aren't they just the most beautiful papers? So versatile. Okay, so I believe they were the kits I had shared in my first video. And I was super excited to get that edited and uploaded. And then Steph went ahead and had a couple of new releases. So I decided I would print the new releases and share those with you as well. Because, because they're just too pretty not to share straight away. So this one here is Junk with Steph Scraps Paper Pack. And I believe Steph said it's a new series of paper packs that she's planning on doing. So this is the gold edition. So Scraps Paper Pack Gold Edition. And those gold tones feature throughout... I just, I actually said to Steph, there's something about this kit that got me really, really excited. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the happiness of those golden tones. It did spark a, a couple of ideas instantly, so there is that. I'm sorry, my computer's talking to us now. Just gorgeous. That is the last page there. Okay, and the last kit I have to share with you is Specimen Labels Volume 2. Now, of course, from Junk with Steph. So if you've been watching my channel for a while and you've seen me work with Steph's kits before, there is a Specimen Labels Volume 1 and I tend to be drawn to that quite a bit. So when I saw the release of this kit, I was beyond excited. The, the labels are such beautiful colours, um, often have a lot of neutrals, so they go with so many things. And they're a really great size, and you'll see what I mean in a moment. So I'll flip you through this here. Look at that green and the yellow. It's almost a lemony colour. Might look great with those gold edition papers. Some brighter yellow. All the neutrals. Such a fun shape. And these are printed at full size, so 100%. And they're on matte photo paper. So the kits I shared earlier, sorry, were on normal copy paper. The labels kit I've printed on two matte photo paper, purely because that's how I prefer to do my labels. I mean, won't they pop on a journal page? Oh, so pretty. Cannot wait to start using these. I love the detail of this border. Okay, so that is the last page. And that was Junk with Steph Specimen Labels Volume 2. And... Yes, I did. I went ahead and I printed it two to a page. So I'll just check and make sure. I'm sorry if I'm wobbling the camera. I forget my camera stand is actually attached to this table now. I need to stand up to make sure I'm actually in camera because I don't have any real markers here. Well, I have markers, but I'm often a little bit skew if not necessarily straight. So I'd like to check that for you. So this one here, I've printed two to a page. I think there's 20 pages in total in the kit. They're still a fabulous, fabulous size. Great for tags and things. So I really love that. Great for layering. OK, 
Okay, so that was Specimen Labels Volume 2 from Junk with Steph, printed two to a page. And then, because they were such a fun size still, I decided I would try them four to a page. So here I have... Stuck on my finger. Um... So these are four to a page, and I still think they're a fabulous size. Again, great for tags and journaling cards and the like if you're looking for little focal points or for layering pieces. And having them at the different sizes means that I can play with layers in sizes as well, which I really, really love that versatility. Okay, so that is Specimen Labels Volume 2, printed four to a page. And then I wasn't sure if I was going to, but I did. So I went ahead and I printed them on my printer at nine to a page. If you're wondering what printer I'm using, I'm using the Epson ET2750. Um, Sorry, I'll just straighten that up. You can see how I go a little bit wonky if I don't check it in camera. Um, so my printer gives me those options to print at different sizes and it's it's really easy. It's practically the click of a button. So um, again, they're still a really fun size, really legible. I love using the nine to a page. I I do wonder whether this would even go down to contact sheet size, which is the smallest print option I have on my printer. I didn't go down that path, but maybe, maybe one day I'll try it. Um, and as you see, I have four of each image. When I do these small prints, I like to try and utilize as much paper as I can. So... Doing four per page gave me the least amount of waste on the number of pages that I've used. So you'll see what I mean when I get to the end. Those colours look really pretty together. Oh, so do they. Oh, actually, it's really fun to see them like this with all their colours. I love that. And that is the last page. So as you can see, I've only um, missed one square of print on this page. And that'll be a fun little size to use on my jelly plate to do a print and use it as a background. So when I, when I fussy cut my kits, I always trim off the edge strips. And I use them on my jelly plate to create... Um, beautiful strips of layering pieces and I've had so much fun recently using those to create some beautiful ephemera so if you're wondering where I've got those strips from that's where so I'm so excited to have shared these with you I wanted to say a huge huge thank you to Steph from Junk with Steph for allowing me to showcase your beautiful digitals and for letting me share them with everybody because I get so excited when I can and I wanted to thank you all for joining me and I hope you've really enjoyed looking through these new kits of Steph's you'll see them in a video very soon because I'm super keen to use them so please everybody stay safe stay inspired and happy crafting I'll see you all soon bye for now